It's a Christmas miracle. One minute she's as good as widowed, next minute she's walking down the aisle. Not yet. No, but I will be. It was a spur of the moment thing. I was just sat there. And I was just thinking, oh, I just can't let this one get away. What, so you asked him? Oh, I'm so, so lucky. Yeah, oh. she's never believed in that leap year nonsense. <laughs> Is this what you want? Hey, listen, I'm just glad to be alive. Oh, are you? <laughs> of course it is. 100%. Lily, um, why don't you tell your Auntie Sarah about your nativity? Oh, who's this now? Maybe it's the three wise men come to see the chosen one. <gasps> Jakey boy! Oh, come here. You certainly keep us on our toes. Oh. They're engaged. Since when? Since about five minutes ago. Oh, congratulations! No, literally back from the... Well, you know, and then this. So I should literally get a biro and draw a rock on it. <laughs> oh, well, I wish you all the happiness in the world, and I mean you know. Oh, thank you. Now is not the time. Yeah. When is the time? When you seriously think I'm going to let him marry my sister after he's got someone else at the pool? Uh, seriously? Define here on devoid family. I have four lines. I know you had four lines, and I heard that you were absolutely brilliant. Yeah, yeah. we know you did. We didn't hear any of them. Uh, speech therapy. <laughs> Not jealous, are you? What? Well, all the attention he's getting. You know, his, his job and escaping death like that. Well, he's hardly Jason Bourne. I bet he ran away at first smell of danger. Look, I know you want to blab on him, but really, what good's it going to do? Well, what do you think's going to happen when the baby does come along? Hmm? Huh? think she's not going to find out? She's always had terrible taste in men. She takes after Gail. Well, she'll resent you. Hmm? She'll resent you. She already does. Well, don't you think it's going to be better coming from him? What, like he's going to volunteer? Well, he might do, if you ask him. Nicely. Right, I'm going to see Mum. Okay. Mm. Just be careful, OK? <laughs> I will. Oh, what have I done to deserve this, eh? Mm. Nothing. Oh! You, you're never happy for me. Even when my boyfriend comes back from the dead. <sighs> Would congratulations kill you? Right, I'll be going as well. Hang on, mate. How'd you find out? Find out what? Just let me explain myself first. Please. The floor's yours. The stress of it was killing me. Working out there doing what I was doing. You wouldn't understand you work up the road putting curlers in all women's hair. Stylist for the record, but do you really think I don't know about stress? You tell me, Gary, when was the last time your wife died on you? I know what you've been through. We don't have to give out prizes. I wasn't the one who was bragging. I'm not bragging. I'm just saying it was tough out there. And I came back and Sarah was giving it all that. But I had no intention of meeting somebody else or going back to hers. But I've already told you all this. No, you told me that you just kissed her. I know, but you can... <sighs> Look. She's happy. Sarah's happy. She's in the dark. And I'm going to have nothing to do with this kid. Nicola's already agreed to it. But you're all right with letting my sister walk around like a fool. OK, no. Really? But can I ask one favour? Just let me go and see my mum first, please. Then I'll come back and I'll tell her everything. No more lies. I promise. So you're going to come back and you're going to tell Sarah the entire truth? Then it's up to her, innit? All right, I'll see you, Mum. Thanks.